Hello YouTube, this is Halfman here and today I will show you my so far greatest achievement in Minecraft. You are watching it right now. Yeah. It's an attempt to create a Minecraft computer. And I say attempt because it isn't quite successful at the moment, but it is better than most things I've seen currently on Minecraft on Minecraft videos at YouTube. So what we have here, we have at first I'll show you the screen and uh, yeah sorry yes this is the screen and we if you can see the little pixel down there moving right now I'll just make it move to right and then up you see you can control it by this keypad here this is basically your mouse you have here uh, it is 16 times times 16 uh, screen we got here, so we in total we got 256 pixels, and if each of these pixels has their own code going from 1 to 256. Uh, at next to this keypad here, we got some controls. We got this one, the shoot control. Yes, this reads the location of, on the, of the x-axis of this one and then it shoots a, a, a projectile, you could call it. That's because it, I'm trying to invert uh, space invaders to this thing here. So you could play space invaders on it. And that will be cool if it, <laughs> if it works. <laughs> but as you see, when it just moves to the left, bam, bam. Uh, the shooting counts this one too there. Okay, uh, the placement on the y-axis has no effect on the, the shot, the projectile. So uh, down here we have the erase button because this screen remembers everything that is on it. So if we now it is erasing everything so it's just have the button here but if we turn this off we could s get this thing going now it's turned off so when we move then I'll just move it around here in a big circle we get a nice square so we can actually make drawings with this one so you can also draw uh, things like that and so yeah, you can make just make drawings. We can then erase the screen, and then it will the, your mouse will pop up right there. You see? Okay, so this is the screen we have here. I also added memory to this screen and way to use my memory. First, I'll explain how it works. Um, if you will see I'll, I'll give you a short demonstration I have saved something on number two and then I first say load this so and it, it, it's quite big as you see so it will take some time if you saw my memory tutorial part three you will see this me memory thing here in it and that's exactly the same I use I copy it with MC edit to do that video for you <laughs> So what we get here is what I saved. Oh, sorry, the screen is erasing. It shouldn't do that. I'm just loading it again. Load this. <laughs> you saw the things that. Oh, the, it was quite a big mistake. Sorry. Take two seconds to come up again. It's coming now. Yes, you see the first thing here. And a nice square is appearing. Uh, in fact, you, I'll show you how it works. When I click this one and click load 
it goes in and loads on this memory block here and it, this is a me special memory block because it loads location number two and look at and on location number two two numbers is saved number I can tell you it's number one to four one and number four is saved and then number one is f the from thing here I want to load from number one to number four then it goes into the counter here and it counts one two three four and then it stops those numbers it sends out to the memory and it sends it into the load input so it's loading what's on number one two three and four of those and then those four different uh, those four output is sent over here and down to the screen and on those no location number one two three and four is those things saved here as I told you before it's 16 times 16 so on the bottom we have number this is a number zero number one two three four five all up to 15 so 15 down here and then if we go want to go line up it's just adding 16 to it so this is number zero this is number 16 just above it and stuff like that so, and that's how it's so if we want to say for this one we say oh number eight here and then we go eight lines up and then we end up right here and that's how it works with my thing here <laughs> I am current I'm very proud of been doing it so and that's how it works if I want to do something ourselves it will take some time because first we say where I want at number 8 I want to save and this is what we could save at number 3 line 12 So this is, this is the what we want, and this is the location. So number eight and number one, we want to go one to the right. So imagine now we are drawing a horizontal line at line number twelve. And I know for many of you this would seem like pure madness. But believe me, it will make sense when it comes out here. I'm just gonna do it quick. Quickly. So right now we have a five. Sixty. Okay. Now I've just hide at this. Then at number, we save it at number three. We want from number eight. From number eight. You can see this changes. So this is from number eight. Now it's on two, two number sixteen. Yes, let's save that place number three. So if we load place number three, I'll just reset the screen here. Yes, you see it. Reset the screen. And remember on number three, we load that. Then it should appear with a horizontal line right here. And uh, as before, it will take a few seconds. A 
first dot is appearing. The next one, and you, you will just see it. Uh, oh, it's lagging a little. So this is the picture we have just saved. And that's how it works. It's a bit hard to understand how it works. And yeah, oh, this one appears. That was a mistake. <laughs> Sometimes it does that. Is yeah, but this that should be the picture we saved. And uh, of course, the dot is still there because it needs to be there. It's no way to remove it, like the mouse picture on a normal computer. And we see what's loaded right here. And sometimes it does make mistakes like this, because this is not loaded anymore. It should not be loaded, but it is. And that's a little mistake here. It's a glitch and sometimes Minecraft box with this. But yeah, this is the, the basic idea in my computer. And so far, I, I think this is great, but it could be improved and I am working on improving it right now. <laughs> so I'll see you later guys, hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.